Okay. I got a lot of stuff to talk about, but I don't want to expend it beforehand. So, should we just start here? Yeah, let's just start. Hey, hey, guys, we are back. Uh, this time it's Max and Gons. We're playing some classic games. Uh, well, classic for the Sega Genesis crowd. And also, you know, I don't know if any of you have played the Sonic Ultimate Genesis Collection, but when I first cracked it open, I knew about half the games, and I, the other half I was, how the hell are these classics? <laughs> Cutting. Yeah. Cutting corners, Sega. Well, I, I grew up as a Super Nintendo kid, so I uh, I will recognize about 1% of these games. <laughs> oh, man, I think I just saw Eco the Dolphin go past. Eco? Echo? Sure. Echo the Dolphin? He's got two Cs. Uh, okay, so let's see. What do we got first? Oh, does it give you a little preview so you can actually see the, the box art? Yeah. Kind of. Let's start with the A's. Uh, Alex Kidd. It's not really a preview of the box art. It's the game intro. Hmm. So okay. So I'm mostly familiar with the box arts from seeing them on shelves at the stores. Yeah. I, I remember Alien Storm, of course, uh, Altered Beast from, yeah. the, uh, from the arcades. Wait, what was the uh, what was the catchphrase for Rise it? from your graves. Yeah, rise from your graves. <laughs> uh, columns, let's see. Mean oh, Bean Machine. Oh yeah, I remember. I remember seeing that one in magazines. And it's it's not the worst uh, Doctor Mario knockoff I've ever played. I'll, <laughs> I'm gonna put that out there. Let's see. There's one. Going there, Fantasy Star, of course. There's one that I think we're gonna go straight for. Uh, probably the game I played the most as a kid because it had the most depth. Like Sonic the Hedgehog, you just basically move right and don't die. Yeah, hold right. No, Streets of Rage. Is that the one you get to play as Hagar? I'm not sure. You might be thinking of two or three, which people are way more in tune with. Mm -hmm. But I never, I never had two or three. So this one you play as like either one of two muscle bound dudes or a uh, or a chick, a hottie chick. Uh, no, this is a uh, uh, dressed in the '80s style. Like, so she looks like she's coming back from uh, <laughs> going to a yoga workout. No, no, she's not dressed like she's going to... She's dressed like she's coming back from work in the street corner. <laughs> she's not dressed like the police officer she's supposed to be. This city was once a happy, peaceful place until one day a powerful secret criminal organization took over. This vicious syndicate had soon had control of the government and even the city police force. The city has become a center of violence and crime where no one is safe. Oh, I thought that was... I thought it was done. It's still going. Amid this turmoil, a group of determined young police officers has sworn to clean up the city. Among them are Adam Hunter, Axel Stone, and Blaze Fielding. <laughs> they are willing to risk everything, even their lives, on the Streets, Streets of, of Rage. Rage. Oh, God, that game. Okay, so those oh, are the hey. characters. Yeah, yeah I'm not, I'm no idea. I like that... Uh, oh, oh, cut into the... I like that the uh, the black guy has like shoulder pads reminiscent of an MMO. Hmm. Okay, so one player. And little oh. side note, these guys, okay, they've got their ranks for their power and stuff like that. I never plays the guys. Always plays the chick. Her speed comes in way more useful than the power of those dudes. Yeah, being able to get out of attacks and stuff. Being able to get out of attacks. And it's not super advanced. Like, there's not like... Okay, wait. I gotta figure out how to... Oh, yeah, yeah. oh shit. Oh, it... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so this is, this is a pretty classic Streets of Rage move here. Yeah. Trying to figure out the buttons and actually use your, what, once per stage? Yeah, your special that you might get a refill of. If you're... Okay. Oh, right, yeah. So you've only got a couple buttons, right? It's like, it's like a punch, kick, and then jump, punch, yeah. jump, kick, and then down, punch, down, so kick. You got jump, punch, jump plus punch. Oh, shit. Getting, jump plus punch gets kick. If you just run into them, you can grab them, and then jump will flip you over like that. And you can do, you know, directional combinations plus the grab to, like, throw them, jump over them, smack, break their neck. Yeah, those men are dead now. Yeah, he, he he just walked on the wrong alley. Ow! And there's really a, yeah, a she's good. Got, she's got such a confident stride. Look at that. She's got a confident stride, but she kicks real high. Hold on, I guess I gotta. For like having that skirt, she's doing a lot of leg maneuver. Oh yeah, that skirt would be a belt within two steps. Yeah. Up. Oh. And actually, a big portion of this game is learning how to take a beating. So it's a, it's a metaphor for life. Yeah. <laughs> when life gives you lemons, lose depth perception. 
Oh and, man, it's, and that's why there aren't any more of those around. Yeah, because they're yeah. so fragile. <laughs> yeah, telephone booths went extinct after people found out they f were filled with apples. Oh yeah. Man, I, I'm, I can sort of see what they're going for for the haircuts. Like that's probably some kind of mullet or flat top. Well, or... I don't know what it is because he's like, I don't know what he's wearing. He's wearing like a Ninja Turtles costume. All right. Bottle? Yeah, I, I thought it was like a broken screwdriver for a second. <laughs> I'm gonna do bad repair. Oh, this is way better. I got more reach. That bottle is actually my least favorite weapon to grab because it's. What? Well, on one hit, does it turn into a broken bottle? Yes, it does. But it's not ter It's not like much stronger than your fist. I... All right, so it's not terribly rosy. I, I don't know about you, but I do not want to get hit by a broken bottle in real life or in a game. No. Oh, God, I hate that ninja dude. Hmm. The ninja dude, that's why it's nice to have something like a bat or a pipe. Because he does like a super high kick that has a lot of has a lot of reach. And so he's kicking you in the head and you can't even get a punch in. So you gotta kind of like sneak him. The worst is in the uh, later levels. They get real... They get real... Uh, they, they get real strong and fast and there'll be like three of them. So when you're playing single... Oh. So, like, one is already a pain in the ass, but when you get, like, three supercharged ones who are boss, like, they have, like, boss health bars, you know? Way too much health. That's when it gets annoying. Now, oh, I, n I, I never... Thought, I thought that said cafe restroom. Mmm! <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's mm. restaurant. Cafe restaurant. I'm, uh, yeah, okay. I'm paying very close attention to a lot of little signs in the background, because a lot of them are pretty rough to read. Like, there was a picture of a, a eyeglasses with... I think it said brills. Brill... <laughs> Unfortunately, you scrolled past it before I could confirm. Now, this game for me as a kid was really awkward because its style is in that awkward 80s to 90s phase where the 90s hadn't really come into its own and the 80s hadn't really gone away yet. <laughs> so people, like that guy was just wearing a fucking sleeveless jean vest thingy. So like, I didn't understand the styles. I was like, what is that? Yeah, like, obviously- what, what is this weird future they've created? <laughs> yeah, obviously, uh, like, a, Obviously, a dominatrix in like a conductor's cap and red leather. But like, what? I didn't oh, know man. what a dominatrix was. Also, this is the boss. This guy's got some awesome wing boots. Also, apparently, the bosses are giants. Yeah. They're all huge. They will live shorter lives as a result. Yeah. I'm number one. Huh, that was a pretty good '80s freeze frame. Yeah. I, I, that was that was always my goal as a kid was to get them freeze-framed on mid-kick. So leg out, in the air. Dun, 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 dun. And one of the, actually one of the dude characters, he does this hilarious jump where he like chest bumps, <laughs> like hands behind head chest bumps. And I always thought that was the perfect, like, yeah. Like, you know, that sort of like, knowledge is power and everyone freeze-frames yeah. on a jump. Yeah, it's, uh, like at the end of a, like a school PSA. Yeah, or like an after-school special, yeah. Yeah! Oh, man, I didn't know reading could teach me so much. Racism has been conquered! <laughs> they first spent all this time to teach you what racism was. Oh, shit. That was... Okay, so you might have been wondering what that thing was. That was a, sh uh, a shaker of pepper. So you throw a pepper shaker in someone's face and they begin sneezing. Ah, okay. And no, that guy's not holding a candle. It's supposed to be a knife. <laughs> huh. He's, he's holding it very delicately between thumb and forefinger, I guess. He can slash me with it, or... And I don't know why they do that, but he could throw it. They don't often throw it. I throw it all the damn time. It's my... It's my keep dudes away from me. I, don't, I, I meant to ask him about it on the other screen, but uh, there was a poster in the background that was uh, freaking out a little. There it is. See that poster? Yeah. I don't know if that's... I think that's supposed to be, like, it blowing in the breeze. Oh, you think it's deliberate. Yeah, because if you notice, like, every now and then you'll see, like, paper blowing in the wind. Okay. And I think that one acts up yeah, when the paper... It just looks like that corner is, is ceasing to exist. <laughs> it's blinking in and out of existence. Yeah. That... Okay, so a lot of people got confused at that when I was a kid. It looks like a tiny group of people or something. Yeah, everyone thought it was like a cake. But it's actually the three characters from this title screen. I, like, I'd play with a friend, they'd be like, eat the cake! I'd be like, it's not a cake, it's it's a one-up, and it's supposed to be representative of... I was I was a very somber ten-year-old. <laughs> that is a weird-ass cake. 
Well, and what makes it better for us is we're playing on a larger screen than I ever played this game on, you know? Like, we're playing on a 13-inch CRT, and now we're playing on, like, a, what, 30-inch LCD? So now you can actually see the definition, whereas before it was just kind of a colorful blob. Oh, yeah. You can drop that. Get kicked in the head. Oh. Oh. Oh, one of the things I don't like is if you drop some... The weapons all have a, like, lifespan. If you drop them a certain, certain amount of time, they go away. Hmm. So, like, the pipe has one of the most resilient... Like, it takes three drops for it to disappear, but everything else takes two. And how many swats does that equal out? Uh, it lasts forever, as oh, far as hits. until you drop it. Yeah. If I... Like, when I get punched in the face and I drop it, because... See, there it goes. It's gone. All right. Oh, the the first juggalo. <laughs> Murder clown. Is that the dark carnival? Man, what is that? Is he? Does he have two like a uh, swept back hair wings, <laughs> or does he have three with the top one being? I think what it's supposed to be is uh, I think his hair is supposed to either be hair wings or you know like parted in the middle. That sort of like a. Uh, oh yeah. That sort of Jonathan Taylor Thomas look. JTT before JT. And then I think he's got a ponytail. <laughs> yeah, and his, uh, he's got some sort of Rufio collar vest thing going on. <laughs> yeah, no, he, well, like I said, proto-juggalo. Man, I, I, I like how safety conscious these guys are. None of them went out into the streets without their knee pads. <laughs> yeah, yeah, except for Dojo Master there. Yeah, like, I, I never understood, like, in the n weird 80s, 90s, were these actually fashions? Because I was, you know... In, in 1990 or 91, when this fashion takes place, I was five. You know, not a lot of, not a lot of fashion sense for in five-year-olds. Yeah. Well, I guess uh, this, uh, this horrible future past, uh, sleeves are illegal. <laughs> uh, the right to bear arms has been given, taken away. <laughs> Who's the government to tell us how long our sleeves should or shouldn't be? Ah. And this is what I call a great time to use this. The ultimate cop. They, this, this seems like an excessive use of police force. Excessive use and also really weird. Like, what weapon does that? Just a ring of fire. It's a bazooka that shoots a ring of fire. And why do cops have it? <laughs> yeah. But then, in this weird dystopian future where dominatrixes wander the street with whips hitting anyone walking down the road. Oh shit, boss fight. That's oh, the music. Okay. Oh, I remember this guy. Uh, I do. Some of this is coming back to me, so either they reuse this assets for other games, or I've seen this before. Like the the big the monkey guy you fought the first time was really uh it was really uh, familiar. Uh, and these guys these guys are easily the biggest pain in the ass. So I always end up using my... I always die once, and I end up using my special on him the second time. Because it's... You can't... If you jump kick him, they do this weird... Uh, that thing. And you can't... It's nigh impossible to get to him. Is it like a stick and move kind of thing? You get in, you punch him, but then you get out before your combo completes? Yeah. Oh. And see, like, this guy's just going to continue to mess me up. Oh. Yeah, Yay. He is faster than you. Oh, he seems to take damage whenever you respawn. Yeah, well, they all do. When you jump in, they just fall down. I don't know if they take damage, but it it's useful in two-player because when someone dies, they can run over and stand next to his, like, broken body. And, uh... Oh, throw the knife at him. See how he likes that. Oh. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Knowledge is power! <laughs> uh, but, yeah, there's a, there's a myriad of levels... Um, a lot of, a lot of dynamic, and this, this was one of those games that I liked a lot more than Sonic, because it had just, a, you know, you're fighting, you're actually, like, doing something, as opposed to running and jumping, and, I don't know, when I felt I died in this, I felt I lost, like, I actually lost, whereas in Sonic, it was just sort of like, a rinse, repeat, run right until I get to the end of the level. Uh, that water is kind of freaking me out. Because it's like five feet above the ground? Yeah, and also it's it's weird pixely black and, and blue. 
Well, I like. You, you know, what it looks like it looks like the uh, edge of the universe has been torn off, and is uh, and you can see the static behind everything. So we've got the ocean here. I've never been. I've never fully been aware of if that's a lagoon behind me or if that's grass. I think that's supposed to be grass. It's just it's weirdly like this yeah, like beach LG. is higher than the grass. So is that a credit card you left over there? Can we make some purchases? <laughs> yeah. Oh, this thing on the ground? Yeah. That's a Coke can. In the breeze, they blow and roll. Oh. It it is very flat. Yeah. Well, I mean, 90s graphics. We can do rounds. Well, actually, uh, what game was it? There's a game. I was just reading a thing where. Uh, like on the original Sonic the Hedgehog game yeah these are 16 bit cartridges or whatever on the original Sonic the Hedgehog game half of the memory was used just to store the theme song oh yeah? yeah oh yeah it had pretty good music but like just thinking about like what else can you do with 8 bits you know guess it's flat coat cam time yeah well, uh, you hear that sort of things about like the uh, original design for Mario and stuff like that, about his colors were chosen because... Oh, no, sorry, for Mega Man. He was blue because they had uh, more blues or something like that than they did the other colors. Oh, God. Need to go to the color bank, draw some more colors? Well, because each, each color you choose, or have you even have available, takes up so much of your memory. Oh. I get that. I'll break this guy's neck. Or maybe they only had a limited palette to choose from? I'd have to check. It's been a while. Threw that right into her face. People just leaving credit cards laying around everywhere. Like so many purchases. Well, they could be phone cards. What was the time in... Uh, was that the 80s? Uh, well, I don't know, but prepaid phone cards were something in the early 2000s. I remember okay. that because uh, that's what we had to have at basic training. Yeah, I remember that when I was uh, living in Germany. <laughs> Is it that you always find just piles of prepaid phone cards and things lying around? Because the cell phone was not a thing. Not really. Like, the advent of the cell phone really changed the face of everything. Oh, yeah. I remember if you'd call, you'd call to look for someone at their home, if they weren't home, that was just it. You just couldn't see them today. <laughs> yeah. Maybe tomorrow they'll be home. <laughs> yeah. Like, I want to hang out, but... I guess he's just not home. Yeah. Lord only knows where he is. Could be dead. <laughs> uh. Actually, that's what this game is about. It's about destroying telephone booths to make way for the future. Oh, wow. That's, yeah, that's rain. That's... Or lasers. <laughs> there might be... There might be a space barrage of well, pain. Why are some of... Why are they angled the way they are? so strange because it's a, obviously a driving rain no i don't know well it looks like there's splashes sort of because they the way they uh they fan out okay but then there's a whole bunch of them just in a row mm -hmm. come on baseball bat and uh that whip is part of her you can't she doesn't drop that you can't take it from her no apparently yeah it it's been surgically grafted to her hand <laughs> there's there are a couple fighting games where you get to use a whip i remember that well like are, like, are we talking about, like, Guilty Gear-style games? Like, uh, actual no, fighting games? I mean, or? like, where, where there's someone, they drop it, and then you can whip other people. This guy is the easiest boss, because it's just timing your... Ah, uh, he just charges you. Yeah. Well, I would I would comment on what he looks like, but <laughs> he's yeah. spent most of the fight off the screen. He's Conan the Barbarian. He looks like, yeah, he's got a whole professional wrestler vibe going. Yeah. Ah, oh, what? I haven't died via this boss in years. Years, I tell you. Time to punish him for your for your mistake. <laughs> yeah, I'll make you suffer. He's got a lot of exposed skin, so he's not really protected from the flames. <laughs> yeah. Huh? There oh, we go. Awesome. Freeze frame. Well, I think that's a good note to end on. Um, but yeah, that's that's Streets of Rage. Uh, something that I actually. Uh, a Sega game that I can sit down and play even as an adult because I played it so much as a kid. Not actually good. Just, you know. Nostalgic? Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, uh, we will catch you guys next time on Players Disconnected. Peace out. Ciao.